Good morning. It's about six o'clock. It's funny I didn't turn this thing on. I haven't talked yet today. <laughs> like, hello, hello. Uh, heading up the, I think it's the South East Ridge. I don't know, I'll give you official name once I get back. Um, hoping this goes well. Last night was absolute perfection. Just nice and calm and Ooh, yeah, it was a great night. Had a little bit of a headache, probably dehydrated, so been pounding the water. Um, yeah, I'll talk to you along the way. See ya. Okay, I'm gonna go up this grassy slope, catch the ridge, and then up to graze. That's the plan. Spend a lot of time on grass. It's beautiful amazing through here <laughs> someone has lined the road with rocks to keep you going the right way isn't that pretty that's so cool okay there's a nice cairn path that goes all the way through here we're gonna work our way up those grassy slopes right there up and over. Looking right along, getting the ridge up here in just a little bit. So I'll take the ridge all the way up. It's going well. I wouldn't say I'm not tired. <laughs> I love the hair. That's awesome. Always hard to figure out how to layer when you're going up this stuff. And it's funny, you get up to the ridge and it gets cold because the wind's howling and it's a bit cooler, but it's probably in the 40s right now, maybe low 50s great hiking weather climbing weather and so you look at that I guess talk to you on the ridge whoo man steep son of a guy managed to catch the ridge not really dangerous just scary but the hard parts ahead of me hair looks better already just gaining this ridge here on up all the way up to the summit. Wish me luck. I have to rest here for a sec. See you in a little bit. Okay. Down on the saddle. Up over those next couple humps and to the top. Okay, over the hump. Straight up to the top. We'll see you at the summit. Looks like there's several people up there already. There's that nasty ridge. Right about where the light stops is where I ended up on the ridge. Looks like nothing here. Looks like a piece of cake. All right, made it. I figure out where the high point is here. Got to be close. Oh yeah, very into this. Okay, well here it is on a Wednesday morning. Not sure about the time. My watch is buried. And people are just flowing up this thing, one after another. Probably gone by 50 already. Wednesday morning. Hmm. Pretty crazy. Several miles of this path, right along the interstate, I'm sure you can hear it. These are always the most challenging parts for me. But there's a little bit of shade if I stay on this side, so I hope that keeps up. That's helping a lot. But we just came from back there. There's plenty more where that came from. I think it's too cute to pass up. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some water right here. Okay, Herman Gulch. I-70. Fun. All right, gonna grab some water here. Figure out where my next stop is. Not a whole lot of water for a while. I'm gonna check and see how far. Heading up to the ridge here, and up and over the mountain. I think it's a 13er, I'm not sure. 
but um, yeah, going well. Hamstrings are cramping just a little. I'm a little worried about that, but uh, taking it easy. I took some more electrolytes. Slamming the water. I don't know what else to do. It's just overuse. I mean, it's a super hard day. I think I could be wrong. That's a graze right there. So I was on top of that this morning. Pretty amazing, isn't it? Once again, a live forest. Every tree you see out there, pretty much alive. I have not seen that anywhere. It's the most beautiful thing. I forgot how beautiful it is. Most of the places I hike, three fourths dead, maybe 80%. But yeah, beautiful. Okay, as you can see, got that whole ridge line to run to get over to the peak back there, 13,000 something feet. And then downhill and find a campsite. Beautiful day, wow, just gorgeous. All right, another 13er, 13215. Uh, doesn't have a name, far as I can tell, just says Summit. So over the top of this guy, and then around that one and down. It's a long ways down to the valley, down that ridge. I'm not taking the ridge, but at least I hope not. <laughs> I've had enough of that for right now. Here's the view from the top. Always more peaks all over the place. Grays right there. A little less smoke from the fire today. So it was in Loveland Lions area. Hopefully it's under control. Working around this ridge. And then you can probably see, you know, I will help you see. The trail goes right along the ridge line up there. Disappears at the very end, not sure. Probably just drops off into nowhere, off the edge of the world. This has been good though. Okay, and once again you can definitely see the trail down there. If you look carefully, and I focus, hold on, you can see it going all the way across that other side over there. It goes a long way. But the next water is beyond that, so I might try and cover at least half. I have enough for tonight, so. And probably enough to get to the next water source without even getting thirsty. So. We'll see. It's just so gorgeous, I don't want to stop. All right, found a spot to camp, as you can see. Okay, it's not level, but I did the best I could. <laughs> Under the circumstances, I'm ecstatic. Um, it's kind of interesting, there's a couple little wind shelters here, but I would hate to have to hide behind them. I mean, the wind blows right through them, but they look cool. Just kind of make me wonder when that was built. Um, the ridge is right up here, so this gives me a little bit of protection from the wind, but not much. We've been getting hit by the wind pretty hard, so we, me, myself, and I. Um, yeah, so it's about four miles to the next water source, maybe five. And I have plenty of water for tonight and, and to go five miles. So we'll stock up there and figure out what's happening next. I know I'm way behind schedule, losing a day. I may have to ration my food for the last two days, maybe. I don't know. It's not that big a deal, we'll figure it out. But I do like food, don't get me wrong. And I think I might have burned a calorie or two today. Climbed a Grays Peak. Wow, hiked all the way to here, over a 13er. I don't know, a lot of miles, a lot of feet, but just gorgeous. It's so awesome being out here. I'm gonna keep coming back. Or I'll try new places. Maybe that's a better idea. We'll talk to you tomorrow morning. Good night. Good morning. Uh, day four. I've got about 70, 65 miles to go uh, to my resupply. So I've got three nights of food left. So I should be fine. As um, long as everything goes well. Didn't sleep well. I had heartburn. I only deal with that 
when I'm backpacking for some reason every once in a while. Usually if I eat and walk around for about a half hour, I'm fine, but um, not last night, so that kept me awake and super congested. So fell asleep about 2, I think, just guessing. Really hard to get up at 5.30 this morning. I was going to get up at 5. <laughs> I had a, I think a ptarmigan. It sounds like a, almost like a um, chicken clucking woke me up. So, good thing for that. Thanks, Tarmigan. We'll talk to you soon. Quite a bit of smoke in the air this morning. Must be that Loveland Lions fire. That's a bummer. Might be part of what was bugging my sinuses last night. But you can see a pretty good haze out west. Northwest, just exactly where I'm going. Oh well. It does amaze me. People mountain bike this thing. I can see the tracks right in front of me. So this is part of the Continental Divide Trail for mountain bikes. But wow. Don't think I'd want to hit a pedal. That's pretty steep. Okay, entering the Vasquez Peak Wilderness Area. Arapaho National Forest. And what you'll notice let me. What you notice down here is all the dead trees again. Right around 50%, just a wild guess. And what's funny is you move this way, not so much. Almost no dead trees. You hit this ridge, everything to the right, dead. Really interesting. goes up must come down. Look at that trail. Down and down and down. All that work to get up. <laughs> Just to go back down. <laughs> At least there's water down there. So I'll be getting some water here pretty soon. There he is. Hi. The first one that stuck around. Finally found the water source. Now you won't be able to see in there, it's too dark, but you had to crawl in here and catch the dripping water. That's all that's left. None of the other stuff's deep enough to get any water from. But hey, it tastes awesome. I just got done walking that whole ridge. Isn't that amazing? What a nice walk it was too. It's just wonderful. And it drops down right over here. That part was a little sketchy, but not dangerous. All right. It's made on top of some mountain. I just read its name and I can't remember. Uh, quite a climb. It was just fall summit after fall summit after fall summit. I just got in the groove, focused on what was in front of me. It was kind of tough, but hey, made it up. All right, Flora Peak, 13 something. That away. Okay, working my way down this talus field. Woo, man, it's tedious. Twist my ankle pretty good. Not surprising, but man, a lot of hard work. All kinds of flat spots, cairns and stuff to mark the way. But it is endless. <laughs> it is so long. It goes down and down and down and down. I really can't tell when it becomes a trail instead of this talus field, but boulders, boulders everywhere. Let's take my time. Slow going. Whoa. I don't think you get the idea. Okay, I better quit doing that. All right, we found a nice creek. So, we again. That's you and I. We. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and make dinner. 
and eat it's about six o'clock so go ahead and eat and then we're gonna hike we another three miles three three and a half miles and there's supposed to be a really good camp spot there so and water hey got it all well actually there's supposed to be lots of campsites so we'll see if we can find one so I don't know if I will have anything to say by that time about eight o'clock probably it's a pretty good climb over another mountain if you can imagine that and then um, I think I'll be happy just to get everything set up and get to bed so I will talk to you tomorrow morning see ya just ran into another section hiker there's section hiking the CDT um, Piper is her trail name and she's done a lot she's done the Pacific Crest Trail and she hikes basically one state at a time so she's hoping to get to New Mexico which I imagine she will. She said she's averaging 20 to 25 miles a day. So I was a little jealous and because um, I definitely am not doing that. Um, yeah, so I have the migraine vision thing going on again. No headache this time. Just have a spot where I can't see. It's kind of weird when you're hiking because you look down to see where you're going to step and there's nothing there. But I've gotten kind of used to it. Hopefully it goes away pretty soon. Yeah, so off we go. Let's see if I can get my 25 miles today. All right, heading up to James Peak over here, 13,300 feet. So my goal right now is to get up there and have my morning snack. It's gonna be a hot one again today. It's already really warm. I got hot just starting uphill. I had to put on all my warm weather stuff. Get rid of my extra shirt, etc. But hopefully I'll get up there next couple hours. Uh, I'll probably go ahead and text or call my family. Let them know I'm still alive. I do have my Garmin, so they know I'm alive. But kind of nice to hear a voice. So we'll talk to you from the peak. See you soon, right? Two hours at the most. I got a trail runner coming down. That blows my mind. I also have someone behind me that's catching up. Not popular mountain, I guess. They move way too fast. All right, James Peak Summit, 13 something, I always forget, 13.2, something like that. Um, had one trail runner come down full speed, that terrifies me, it's amazing they can do that. A woman behind me caught up to me just before the summit and uh, we met up again at the summit. She was from Denver. Uh, I'm going to sit here and have myself a snack, drink a bunch of water, and start heading down. I'm sure the down's going to be challenging. It usually is. But wow, what a view. Here, I'll share. You can see all the smoke still. That's where I'm headed, down those big lakes down that way. We'll get there eventually. Wow, look at all the humanity that way. Nothing this way. Still smoky. Very smoky, actually. Oh, I forgot to ask if that woman knew if the fires were out. And back over here where I came from. It's back over here, wrap around this way. Wow, look at the smoke. Okay, heading down the backside of James Peak. Another nice, steep, down to the floor kind of hike. It'll be a little tedious, gonna take me a little while. These are the things that get me behind, but that's okay. I mean, that's just part of the trail, but I don't see how people get 25 miles in these conditions. Look at all those dead trees that have blown over, I would guess. Maybe burned and then blown over? Wow, that's a lot. That's amazing. Can I see that in here? Yeah, I think so. Wow. Amazing to see the blue ice up here still. August 2nd. Ooh, so pretty. There's James Peak in the background. Right, the obvious one. Hard to believe I was just up there a couple hours ago. 
Every time I think I'm going slow, I have to just take things in perspective. I mean, that's a long way. So we're heading this way up over the hill and following the ridge line out here. It's kind of whew, all the way down to the end mountain that you can see out there and then down. So that's where I'm headed. Eight hours ago, I was three miles behind that peak right back there. James Peak. There, I can see better. Isn't that amazing? Eight hours. Not sure how many miles. I just know I was three miles behind it. I'll figure it out later. The clouds are coming in. It's really smoky. I think I ran into a couple guys and they said it was probably Oregon smoke. It's amazing how far it travels. Eleven mile water carry. I'm thirsty. Always a little nervous walking through a burn area when it's windy. Crazy. We had to work pretty hard to open this trail up again. I had a feeling this burn was a while ago. Okay, a tree mageddon continues. I cannot get over the number of downed trees in Colorado forests. But look at that. Makes you want to throw a tent out there, doesn't it? This was quite a while ago, obviously. Thank you, whoever saw it all these so I can get through. Wow, that's amazing. All right. <clears throat> Good morning. Got it about six o'clock this morning chilly it's funny you throw some humidity in the air and it gets quite a bit colder i was convinced it was in the 30s and it was 45 <laughs> 45 with humidity um gonna try and get as close to um, grand lake as i can today and then go into grand lake tomorrow resupply and finish off the last 35 40 miles oh, that's 35 ish miles as long as i can do the shortcut through the park and that's was closed, I don't know if it was last summer or the summer before, because they were, I think there was a fire through there and they were redoing the trail, but um, we'll see. The worst case, I'll walk the road. Ooh, hope that doesn't happen. So looking forward to a good day. Talk to you soon. This is the Monarch Lake Trailhead. You can believe this mess. We're going around and around looking for parking spots. All of them angry. All right, the good, bad, and the ugly. This is the ugly. It's 93 degrees in the shade. Um, trying to get around Grand Lake or I think it's Grand Lake. I don't know. Trail is just like straight up, totally exposed, very rocky. I was very grouchy, very whiny, better word for it. Finally stopped down here, loaded up electrolytes, lots of water. Um, and for some magical reason, the trail got better. It flattened out quite a bit, for one. 
awful lot of dead trees as you can see. Um, ran into a southbound CDT hiker. She said she jumped ahead so she's probably earlier than most. I thought there'd be more coming through now. I guess it's too early. It is August 3rd so um, yeah I was hoping to get into Grand Lake early enough to get something to eat and resupply. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Especially if I don't quit talking so wish me luck. See ya. Whew, it looked like I'm gonna make it but that's all right. Um, you know, you get your hopes up. I'm thinking kombucha, bubbly water, it's always bubbly water, pizza, beer, hamburger, <laughs> dehydrated something. That's all right. Um, I don't even see it in the video, but man, I am solid white salt. You can see it better here. The straps are like solid white all the way down. Look at that, wow. All my straps are stiff as a board where they've dried out and this will be solid white when it dries, so. I don't know how I can get enough electrolytes in me at this rate. I just dumped everything I had into my belly here a few, about an hour ago. So I was hoping to get to town and get some electrolytes as well. A tiny, tiny bit of a headache. I don't know whether to be worried about that or not. It's 95 degrees now, but. Um, getting close a little bit cloudy off and on wish me luck hey mountain market I didn't think I was ever gonna find it the only the place to be boom sagebrush bar and grill and this place is crazy oh there's dinner mm -mm. thank you very much Ooh, all the Christmas lights live music I don't even believe it, but I'm pretty sure that's bingo going over there first. Go to Carolina, point the long and I love More Christmas lights. And the Christmas tree. I gotta go find a place to camp. I don't know how that's gonna work out. We'll see. We can't really get that bright enough to see. Oh well. Okay, we're hiking the cutoff through Rocky Mountain National Park at night. It's a little cooler. A lot cooler and I knew the sun would be blasting me through here so that's what I'm doing I'm a bit tired though I'm a little nervous. I just did a resupply and I ate a ton last night. Yeah, we're probably okay. Good morning. Well, it is Sunday. Wow. Day seven? All right, day seven. It's been a week since Ethan dropped me off. That's amazing. I could actually finish today. Got about 20 miles left. I uh, hiked through the night last night, which was a great choice in most ways. Um, the meadow I set my tent up up. <clears throat> I used a meadow because there's tr burn trees everywhere. I want to worry about one following on, hello, falling on me. So I found out the meadow was the most popular ungulate spot ever. So elk kept coming through, coming through, coming through, and then deer, moose, and the moose stuck around all night long. Just kept thumping all the way around my tent. They're big anyway. There were a couple of bulls that were just, wow, amazing. And they weren't scared. I turned my light on. They looked at me like, yeah, and what do you want? 
So at least they weren't aggressive, but I couldn't sleep, so that's the bad part. Beautiful spot. Mm. Nice hike out. It's pretty amazing that burn through there. But away I go over the bridge and on to Willow Creek Pass. Talk to you soon. Okay, just saw my first bear. Pretty exciting. I was being very quiet, not really thinking about bears in this area. I came around the corner. I'm in the Never Summers wilderness. Um, and man, he shot off like I shot him. Thank goodness, I guess. I, but I feel bad scaring him so so much. Um, we got a three-year-old or so, three or four-year-old. Not super big. Wow, really just like jet black. When I first saw him, I thought it was part of a moose, like laying down or something. But um, when he shot off, it was pretty obvious. They're beautiful. They're such beautiful animals. Ooh, a little too exciting, but no danger. Sorry, bear. It's looking like rain. We have clouds all the way across the ridge, so I'm just right below the summit or the saddle. And once I get on the saddle, I have to stay on the ridge for quite a while, so I'm gonna wait it out. And it may not rain at all, and it may be like this for three hours, so that's just the way the game's played. I can't complain. This is the first time I've had to deal with this the whole trip, so kind of a fitting way to finish up the last full day. I'll talk to you soon. I think we have a flash flood happening. All the sides are completely crumbling all around me. I gotta get out of here. I'm going up high. Creek's getting bigger. No huge wave coming up from the top like you see in the movies. I hope that doesn't happen. This one next to me is dying down, so that's comforting. I ended up waiting out this storm for about an hour. I figured that water was moving about two miles an hour. All the dead trees were about two miles off the canyon. I wanted to make sure there wasn't going to be a flash flood. It was really scary. And then I ended up hiking out and a windstorm started coming up and had all these dead trees all over. So I ended up hiking to a spot where trees couldn't fall on me and waiting till, this, till the windstorm itself died out in about an hour. So I ended up at Willow Creek Pass at, I don't know, 1 or 2 a.m. So when I got there, I just cowboy camped because it have been a long day. So thanks for watching and be sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell and let me know if you have any questions.